my sister Mia Motley. Your Excellency President Ruto of Kenya, Your Excellency Azal Asumani, President of Comoros and Chairperson of the African Union, I'd like to thank you for co-hosting such an important summit. Thank you also to Your Excellency UN Secretary General, my dear friend and brother, Antonio Guterres, and to Presidents, Honorable Ministers, and everyone present for contributing to this remarkable occasion. We are gathered here today for what is truly an important summit not just for Africa, but for the entire world. And while I do wish I could join you in person today, please accept my participation by way of this message as I bring this from you from my own shores here in Barbados. President Ruto, you know that Kenya is one of my favorite places, and if I could be there, I would be there. My friends, so many people across the globe are now imperiled and impacted by the climate crisis and the interconnected impacts that's, that take place, such as pollution and deforestation. The world has discussed and debated all of this. But the fact is that for too long, we have done far too little. And as I said in Paris, we're not moving at the pace or with the scope that is necessary to tackle the environmental decline if we are to safeguard our people and our planet. The climate crisis affects everybody, but particularly it has devastating consequences, life and death consequences, for the very poorest and most vulnerable. And they come from countries who didn't help cause it. But my friends, we still have a choice. We can continue to talk amongst each other, seeking perfection or even casting blame, while the world literally burns. Or we can choose to transform our future. We can choose to shape it. To do so, we've said all along, we need to take action now and at the pace and the scope that matters. And why with such urgency? We now live in a world of superlatives. I call it the season of superlatives, the hottest, the rainiest, the warmest. Everything is breaking new barriers and new records for the Guinness Book of World Records. And yet every day we continue to do nothing or enough as we see the impacts of the climate crisis. We need to stop talking and we need to do. The Bridgetown Initiative is an action plan that we've identified to make the world a better place only because we live in a world where capitalism and money dominate so much that unless we unlock the financing mechanisms, we're not going to be able to take the necessary action at scale and with speed. At its core, the Bridgetown Initiative sets out how we can rebuild the international financial architecture to be fit for purpose, so that countries like ours and yours are no longer disadvantaged by systems that were not built with us in mind when they were established. Now is the time to do what needs to be done. There's no other word, N-O-W, a simple three-letter word, now. We are at the crossroads for humanity. And this, my friends, is a time when political will, matched by the recognition of our reality, will make all the difference in the world. I know that many of us recognize this who are there today at this Africa summit. Your countries and your people continue, like mine and ours in the Caribbean and across SIDS, to face the brutal effects of this climate crisis. And we also face, of course, that climate financing gap that is limiting your ability to respond effectively. This cannot and this should not be. Brothers and sisters, I say to you today that it is up to everyone to do all they can to ensure the continued health of our nations. We must work together from the African continent to the Caribbean. Understanding nature and the climate crisis does not respect the boundaries which man holds fast to his borders. Indeed, I say now it doesn't matter because we're seeing it in the north, in the east, the west, and the south. We must stand up for what is right. We must share a sense of responsibility to our environment and indeed to the loss of biodiversity on land and in our oceans. We must share a sense of responsibility to each and every generation. We, my friends, are capable of achieving common goals, but we can only do so when we share that sense of responsibility to one another. 
we must be our brothers and sisters keepers and we must look to treat others as we would wish to be treated if we apply these simple precepts that our children live by daily then i believe that we can begin to see success i trust that the science will continue to be all at the center of all that we do and i trust therefore that that ability to link science with finance with public policy action can make the difference to ordinary people in nairobi ordinary people in bridgetown ordinary people wherever they are found on this planet thank you and i wish you all the very best